thousands of gallons of crude oil are oozing into the Louisiana Make no Coastal mistake. Water. We will do whatever's necessary. But whatever's in fact, necessary. this is a crisis. Yes, I'm just a commercial fisherman. Oh, my whole Gulf life Coast. is based on this. Have we brought in the best and the brightest of all the minds that could deal with this? Tim Lamar from Finland. We have an experienced and hilarious team here in Almsat. If uh, you're ever out of jobs, we can hire you. <laughs> we have a rush technology here to demonstrate, which is a new innovative uh, uh, concept based on the, the old proven technology we have in the company. My title is Vice President of Special Projects. We're really the, the worldwide leaders in oil spill response equipment and also training and technologies, uh, particularly in the Arctic regions. We have approximately 200 patents in the portfolio right now for the brush technology. The brush technology was much more efficient in the heavier type oils. In the last few years we've really done a lot of work to make it cover the full viscosity range. The brush technology has been around for, for 30 years or something and there are many different variations of that. We have now combined three basic technologies in the concept we demonstrate here at Omset. The brush wheel, the belt wheel, also dynamic inclined plane. The brush technology is the only mechanical recovery technology you can use for high viscous oils. <laughs> you gotta do it, do it. Yeah, this is uh, half, of, half of our job, is to joke around. It's gonna be a dance later on today, performed by Jeff from our team. So looking forward to that. Oh, I feel good. Do -do 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 -do. You knew that I would now. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Gary is very, he drives really the team, you know, he, come, he is not shy. He never hold back. That's one tricky thing in, in this market that actually you sell things that you hope you never use. In the optimization run, we have gathered uh, decent uh, amounts of fluid, a little bit less than expected. What surprised us was the extremely good efficiency rate we got back, and that gave us the confidence that we are on the right track here. That's typically a bottleneck when you're out on the sea and you have too small storage space for the recovered oil. So we don't want to fill that with water. We want to fill them with pure oil and leave the water in the ocean. We have a few brushes not turning here in the right RPM. A little bit slippery with the oil, but maybe losing a few percent of, of the capacity there. But. Not a big problem. We haven't had that much problems. As we're based quite a lot of the mechanics on proven design, so... so uh... Stay positive. Yeah. Everything was done in one and a half months, so it was a huge push, and we had people working day and night for this, for the last one month before there shipping. There was a huge amount of oil in front of that skimmer. Okay, right. Right in. On the... <laughs> Let's leave, leave the water in the oceans, pick up the oil. I would really like to thank, thank X Prize Foundation and, and I think it's a great opportunity for our team to do research and development in such an environment. Very good. Best one so far, by far. We would never be here with that <laughs> yeah. big equipment and full scale without this competition, so that's uh, something that we really appreciate. <laughs>